Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Warwick and you're watching Gas Tax. Today, we are gonna go over everything wrong with my 2004 MK4 R32. So let's jump right into it. So right here is the cheapest 2004 VW R32 you can get in America. So let's figure out why it's so cheap. Starting in the engine bay. This is loose. This is connected to nothing. Hood doesn't stay open without a vice clamp. Hood latch is missing. New light, old light. These are missing. This is popped off. This mirror is scratched, and so is the other one. And this mirror motor does not work. Door handle scratched. Rust. Dent and missing paint. And tuna snapped off and broken. Rust. This exhaust is a couple inches behind this exhaust. This latch doesn't work. This turn signal is red. This one is orange. Brakes don't work. The coil over is maxed out at this lowest. I need to raise it two inches. Door handle scratched. Mirror scratched. Rust. The brake pad wear sensor is caught in the rotor. Brakes need to be replaced. Rust all along here and missing paint. Windshield is chipped. I don't know if you can tell, a lot of chips on the paint here. Missing the R32 logo. So those are the exterior visual problems without jumping into the mechanics of the car. So let's jump into the interior and see what's wrong. A known problem in the R32 is because of these special seats is this seat always gets the most wear. So luckily the leather really isn't destroyed, but the foam is destroyed. I need to fix that. Leather is cracked here, here, and here. I need to fix that. Even though the wheels are straight, the steering wheel's off. I need to fix that. Why is hanging out? I need to fix that. Missing a clutch metal pedal. Handbrake doesn't work. Need to replace the stock rate or the aftermarket radio with a stock radio. Visor latch is broken. Sunroof latch is broken. This isn't sturdy. This gets removed. That's just dirty, so needs a clean. Headliner is loose. I don't think I'm gonna fix that, but that's the problem. Mm, that could be a problem. Let's check out the trunk. Well, one of the seven previous owners had a subwoof in here. So I need to remove all these wires. And I'm missing the toolkit. Whatever was in here, I'm missing it. So as you can see, there are a bunch of issues with the R32. And I haven't even jumped into the mechanical suspension kind of issues. So, I got a lot to do here. Um, so the main reason of showing you what's wrong is so if you're interested in watching me fix certain things, I'll be posting videos, probably a video per issue, maybe if they're easy issues, two or three videos per, per issue. But I think, uh, you know, I'm gonna be servicing the Holdrix all-wheel drive system, doing the typical oil change and engine uh, uh, tune-up 
um, replacing the spark plugs, checking the cables, uh, a fluid flush, a brake fluid flush. Um, yeah, and just making sure this is ready for being a daily driver this winter. I just picked up, apparently, I don't know, these are hard to find, 17 inch look-alike of the original 18 inch uh, rims that came with R32. I picked up these for winter. Uh, let's just put some uh, winter ties on them. So I'm gonna be making sure this car's ready to go. Another project I gotta do, these are my ties I'm gonna be using for ice racing. So I have to put 100 to 150 studs in each of those. So that's about everything I gotta do to the R32 for now. I'm obviously gonna do some uh, mods to it, but those are the general visual errors that I can see that I'm gonna be fixing. I am getting a roll cage. I am getting a Heldex computer system to control uh, the all-wheel drive system. I am putting a short shift in there. So those are all mods that I'll go through individually. But be sure to like, subscribe if you want to see me get this 2004 R32 back to a daily driver status. As always, thanks again for tuning in. Until next time.